YouTube, what is going on? Back my latest video. Today I have another mystery box video for you guys from Spastic Collectibles. So these were $75 boxes each. I have three of them we're gonna open up today for you guys. Really excited to see what's in here. They did have some pretty cool grails. So let's open this one up and see if we got one of them in there. Here we go. All right guys, so before we open up these boxes, please hit that like button down below. Let me know you guys are enjoying these videos. And as always, if you're not already subscribed to my YouTube channel, hit the subscribe button down there as well so you're updated to my most recent content. And also hit that bell notification so you're alerted as soon as I post a new video. So like I said, these were from Spastic Collectibles. Uh, these were $75 boxes. They mentioned that there'd be three or more boxes per box in here. Um, the top grails, um, where I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I don't know how to pronounce them. They look pretty cool, but the one I wanted the most was actually the Witch from the Wizard of Oz. Um, I do have that flock lion back there from Gemini Collectibles, and would love to complete that Wizard of Oz set, but they're pretty pricey. I think the Witch on there is $155, so be really nice to get that one in there or anything else pretty cool. Um, they were guaranteed value, so let's open these box up, uh, boxes up. Like I said, there's three of them, so we'll start with the first one right here. Um, and I don't no, yeah, like I said, they're guaranteed value. They're $75 plus shipping. So let's see what we got here. We'll do them one by one. And uh, see what we got. Hopefully something good. So this one has a protector in here. It feels like it's a pretty good protector. So we'll open that one last, and hopefully that's one of the grails. Uh, so here is the first pop. All right, so this is pretty cool looking. Uh, this is Hemorrhage from Rick and Morty. Um, as you guys know, if you watch my videos, I'm not a huge Rick and Morty collector. The show is pretty funny um, from the episodes I've seen at least. Um, but collecting these pops is just to me like how Star Wars is. There's too many of them. I can never keep up. Um, nor do I have any interest in keeping up. Um, but this guy's pretty cool looking. Um, yeah, he's a better one to have than just having a different um, costume of Rick or Morty. Um, but nonetheless, I don't mem remember him in the episodes that I've seen of Rick and Morty. He's never been in any of them. Um, the only guy I remember outside of Rick and Morty and like their family was that bird, bird guy, uh, Birdman, I think it was. Um, you know, if I got his pop, maybe I'd keep it because he was all right in the episodes I've seen. But Hemorrhage, I don't remember at all. But let's look at him up and see how much he is worth. All right, guys, so Hemorrhage is going for six bucks. So from what I can see, a lot of the Rick and Morty pops, especially the commons, aren't very valuable. Um, but the good thing about that is we still have to get our guaranteed value in this box. So that means that the last two pops have to make up at least $69. So that's pretty exciting. Um, unfortunately, this one's not too valuable, um, but still a pretty cool looking one. So first pop from this box is Hemorrhage from Rick and Morty. All right, guys, so we have two more in here. Like I said, there were three or more in the box. They're all the same size. Um, so I'm assuming there's all three in there, but who knows. Uh, but here's a second pop from this box. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, so this is Speed Racer. This is the common Speed Racer. Um, if you guys watch one of my hot uh, cash roulette videos, you saw that I got this one as well as the Chase, which was really nice to have. Um, so I have more than one of these, as you guys saw. Um, so this is also a duplicate. I actually don't know how, much, uh, how valuable he is, just because I don't remember uh, looking him up, to be honest with you, in the app. Um, but I know he's not that expensive, which is also pretty exciting for this last pop. Um, this Speed Racer is going for $8. So not bad. Um, we're, what, 14 bucks now? So the last one's got to be 61 or more, which is pretty exciting. Um, but yeah, Speed Racer, you guys have seen me pull him before, so not going to go too much more into detail about him. But he is the second pull from this box. All right, guys. So I'm actually pretty excited to see what this one is. Um, like I said, it's two top grails. I'm not gonna lie to you guys and act like I knew who they're from uh, or who they are. The one's from The Watchmen. Um, his name starts at R. And the other one, I don't even know who he is, but he looks like that Horn King from um, a Black Cauldron. Uh, but I don't know who he is. And uh, yeah, like I said, the witch from Wizard of Oz is the one I want. So let's see what this top grail, or maybe it's not a grail, but it's in the protector. Let's see what this one is. Here we go. Whoa! -ho -ho -ho. That's actually even better. Uh, so we have the six path Naruto right there. Okay, I'm actually cool with that. So I'm actually in the middle of watching Naruto, binge watching it on Netflix. Uh, I've gotten up to season three now, so I haven't got as far as knowing what six path is. 
Um, but the Naruto Pops I have in my collection so far make at least a little bit more sense now. And I'm really excited to get to this point in uh, watching Naruto. Um, from what I remember, this one was a Hot Topic exclusive. It did, it did restock a while ago. Um, I didn't pick it up. Um, I don't know if this is the Hot Topic one or um, GameStop. We'll check in a second. Um, but I do know that this one restocked recently. That one has the special edition sticker instead of the um, store sticker. So that's the overseas edition. So they must have restocked over there as well or just never sold out. Um, but yeah, this Naruto is going for 60 bucks. So just slightly over the $70 value, but still really nice to pull this really cool pop. Uh, the Naruto 6 Path is a really, really dope one. Um, have to complete the set back there. I do have Toby and also Kakashi. Um, I don't know if I have Sakura or not, but this one's really cool and definitely will fit into my new line of anime pops I'll be collecting after watching Naruto. So let's move into the second box and see if we can pull something else cool. Alright guys, so here is the second box. Let's see what we got in here. Um, that box, like I said, the value wise, it's just slightly over the guarantee value, um, but the pop, that Naruto pop is really, really dope. So excited about that. Um, but let's see if we can do even better with this box right here. So this one also feels like it has three and also there's a protector in here. So we'll do the ones that aren't protected first. Here's the first pull. All right, wow. So another New York City Comic Con Vegeta. Uh, I think I pulled two or three of these. I also have one in my personal collection. Um, so this one's unfortunately a duplicate. I don't believe this one's really valuable at all. Um, I think this one restocked multiple times and I also don't think it ever even sold out to be quite honest with you. Um, I do believe the GameStop I think is where it dropped still has him in stock in my area. Uh, let me see if I can find out how much he's worth because he doesn't have a sticker on the bottom so I have to do this the manual way. Um, Funko app saying he's going for $38, but that is not the con sticker. So let me check Pop Price Guy real fast. All right, so Pop Price Guy has this guy with the share sticker at $16, and he is shared with Hot Topic. So um, not a bad start. Uh, you know, it is a pretty cool pop, just an unfortunate, or unfortunately, it's a duplicate. Um, but yeah, Vegeta is the first pull from this box. All right, guys, so let's see what this second unprotected pop is. Hopefully, it's something cool and not a duplicate. Number two. Who is this? This is number five from Umbrella Academy. So I have not watched Umbrella Academy yet. I know a lot of people have said it is a really cool show. Um, eventually I will watch it. I um, just have not got around to watching this one yet. Um, I think it got canceled. Didn't it get canceled, guys? Drop down in the comment section below if you know. Um, but this one's the least interesting of the pops in the back. There's a lot of cool looking ones in that line back there. Um, yeah, I think of all the ones in this this line, this is the worst pop, uh, but he might be the coolest person on the show and I might be just missing out. So if you guys know anything about this show, drop down in the comment section below. Be interested in learning uh, more about number five. Um, but let's see what this guy is going for. Number five, he's probably gonna cost five bucks, let's see. Number five is going for 10 bucks. So he doubled his name, not bad at all, $26 in. Uh, number five is the second pull from this box. All right, guys, so like I said, $26 in. That means we have one last pop to get to our guaranteed value. So that means it's gonna be at least a 50, almost a $50 pop. So really excited to see what this one is. Hopefully it's that witch or something else cool like that Naruto. Number three. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh. This is the top grail from this, this line. Wow. That is crazy. So this is the guy I told you, I don't know who he is. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I'm not gonna lie at all and tell you I know who he is, but he looks like the Horn Night King from uh, Black Cauldron, but this was the top grail in the box. Now, I don't remember the values at all. Um, I've never seen Army of Darkness. If you guys know anything about this movie, drop it down in the comment section below. But yeah, guys, um, I haven't pulled the top grail in a line of boxes in a long time, maybe if ever. So this is actually really, really exciting. Um, I'm gonna learn more about this guy because he looks really, really dope and he's definitely a keeper to me. Um, let's see what he's going for. Whoa. <laughs> this guy is going for $340. $340. Wow, yeah, I definitely need to know who Deadite is. He's from a convention exclusive from 2014. Uh, he glows in the dark, so that's even better to me. You guys know how much I love the glow in the dark pops. 
but yeah, that's a winner right there. I don't even, I don't even know what's in the other box. And yeah, Spastic Collectibles. Yeah, this one's really nice. So really, really excited about this one. Um, unfortunately, it can't go up from here because this is the top grail. But still excited to see what's in that third box. Let's open that one up and see uh, if Dead Eyes got any cool friends coming. All right, guys. So we got the final box right here. Yeah, I'm still on that high from the second box. I mean, I talked it up, but I don't know who he is. Um, but yeah, I knew he was the top grail from the picture, but I just had, I was hoping for that witch, but I'm not upset for pulling the top grail in the box. So really, really excited about that one. I don't think that's happened to me in a long time. Uh, I have good luck, but never good luck like that. So I'm uh, really happy. So this box has four or three in it. And also has a protector as well. So it'd be really, really crazy if I get another of the top three grails. Um, so these were a limited run. They only have 50 boxes. And I like doing boxes like that um, and ordering, you know, multiple ones because I feel like it gets a better chance to get a grail. And it seemed to work out that time. Uh, so let's see. Here's the first unprotected pop. Oh, okay. So this is not one I have. This is an ad icon that um, for some reason I didn't get. Um, this is Mimic the Monkey. This is a New York City Comic Con shared exclusive. Um, this is from... Uh, Pez. <laughs> uh, this was, um, I think this was a con exclusive. I don't think you could, I don't know if he was shared or not. Maybe I'm wrong, but maybe he was shared with GameStop. Let me check real fast. Um, but I didn't get him. I didn't get Pez Girl. I did get Peter Pez when they dropped in San Diego. Uh, but this guy's going for, oh, uh, I forgot, $22 on the Funko app, but that I cannot go by. So let me check Pop Price Guy real fast. All right, so he's on Pop Price Guy going for 15 bucks. <laughs> And he's a shared exclusive with the Funko Shop. So, um, yeah, I, I didn't get this one. I don't know why. Um, I think he hasn't sold out. I think he's still on the Funko Shop if you guys are interested in getting him. Um, but like I said, this is an ad icon I did need and really excited to add that to my collection. So, really cool pull right there. Always nice to get non-grail uh, cool pulls in these boxes. So, let's see. Here is the second pop. Another Rick and Morty pop. So this is Mr. Poopy Butthole. <laughs> um, yeah, I've seen this guy on uh, Beards videos, I think. Um, I think that's him. I have no idea. I don't watch Rick and Morty, like I said. Uh, this is a Hot Topic exclusive. There's a guy I was talking about, Bird Person right there. I've seen that guy before. Um, but yeah, not much more I can really tell you about Mr. Poopy Butthole. That's uh, an interesting name. Not what you want to have as a name, I would think. But... Uh, let's see what this guy's going for. He shouldn't be too hard to search manually for because I don't think anybody else can have a, a name like that on the Funko app. So let me see. All right, guys. So this is actually pretty surprising. Mr. Poopy Butthole is going for $26. So that's pretty cool. Um, like I said, this is not my uh, kind of tea, uh, cup of tea. Um, yeah, I can't tell you much more about him, but $26 for this guy is pretty uh, surprising. So there you go. Second pull for this box. Alright guys, so we have one more. It'd be crazy if I can end this video off with getting that witch uh, from Wizard of Oz. That would be too much like right, but let's speak it into existence. Let's see what we got. This is the final pop. Wow. So this is another Jack-Jack. That is pretty wild to get another one of these Jack-Jacks. Um, I have never seen this pop before, um, and now I have pulled two of them recently and um mystery box so um you guys have seen me pulls before so i'm not going to go too much detail about him but i do want to i don't remember how much he's going for um he is actually going for 46 dollars so not bad value in that box at all and uh yeah this one also doesn't have the sticker um somebody drop down in the comment section below what this one is exclusive to um the funko app says it's exclusive to oh it does actually have a game planet i think before it said target but now it's actually been fixed to game planet so uh, yeah, there you go. The Metallic Jack-Jack is the final pull from this box. Not a bad one, but unfortunately a duplicate. Alright guys, so as you saw, I did extremely, extremely well with this box. I got the top grail and I'm really, really excited about that one. Here's the total value how I did it right there. Drop down in the comment section below what your favorite one was. Um, to be honest with you, even though this one's the top grail, I think uh, that Mimic the Monkey <laughs> might be my favorite or the Naruto just because they're uh, more what I collect but this one is extremely extremely dope so let me know what your thoughts are down in the comment section below hit the like button if you've not already and hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed to my YouTube channel thanks so much for watching until next time I'll see you later